Hey, what's up? Cheap beer for you to drink. My name is JJ. All right, let's get to these lion's heads. Uh, these were picked up for me from a, a friend of mine who was in Pennsylvania who picked up a lot of stuff for me. Um, and we've already had the lion's head light on the channel, and I thought that was a very interesting light beer. It's very unique, I think is a good way to describe it. There isn't really another beer, I think. Uh, a light beer that tastes like it. So now I'm kind of excited to try these other two Lion's Head brews. They're ice and just their classic Pilsner. It's their deluxe Pilsner beer. Um, then the only other Lion's Head beer that is currently made that I would not have had is their IPA. So if these two are good. The Lion's Head light was pretty good. Um, that might be one I have to pick up. Uh, on these boxes here, it says, don't be fooled by imitations. There's only one king around here, and you're looking at them. Lion's Head Deluxe Pilsner, lionbrewery.com. This is a 12-pack of 12 fluid ounce cans. $7.49 for both of these. Pretty good price. That's about it. That's all it says here on the box. Uh, but on... I want to leave this up here. Sure, that looks nice. Um, that's all it says on this box, but if we take a look at the ice beer, we see that this bad boy is 6%, which is pretty high for an ice beer. Uh, sometimes you'll see them at 5.5, sometimes you might see them creep up to 5.9, but we're rounding up here to 6% Lion's Head Ice. And yep, that's all we get on this box as well. So I'm uh, super excited to try it big fan of ice beers i think it's a good balance if you want a uh, a stronger beer but they usually still taste pretty good to their just regular counterparts so how about this how about we start with the deluxe pilsner here and then make our way over to the ice check this out i thought this was interesting as i was grabbing these cans out of the boxes um you see that this has the uh, really old school kind of tab and this is the more like a modern looking can at least if you ask me when I think of that, I think of just some uh, old school beer. Uh, I like that style, um, but uh, it's definitely, I don't know. I don't see very many of those cans. All right, I'll wait to pour out, pour out the ice. I'll pour out the, uh, the Pilsner now. Don't know much about Lion's Head other than the fact that it's one of the oldest breweries, I think like the seventh oldest. Uh, one of the only breweries to be around since pre-prohibition. -pro I think that's kind of cool. This smells lovely. I've been craving a beer today. Filming this on a Saturday. It's late afternoon. I'm ready for this. That smells really good. All right, the Lion's Head Pilsner. that's that's it's good it's really smooth i think it's like a, a maltiness there there's something about this lion's head brew which um again it's just it's unique and not in a bad way it's a that's a really that's a solid beer right there that's that's really good but it's, it's, again, unique. It's almost this, um, it, it's some kind of character of the water or the hops that they are using. But it's hard to explain, but it does have this, like, maltiness to it, too. Um, it smells really good. It tastes really good. For $7.49, hell yeah. Buying this thing all day, every day. And the light, too. I mean... Yeah, if these were around at 749 uh, near me, these are not sold in my state of Ohio, um, I, I would definitely recommend picking them up at that price point. And having a, a brewery that's still independent, it seems, and still around f from for this long, that's, that's pretty cool. All right. That's the... Uh, Deluxe Pilsner here. Now we're going to try the ice. And if I need to try these back to back, I can. The, the, the old style can a little harder to open. So I did, I did hear some thoughts 
from both Tony and my dad, um, I gave them both a can of the uh, the ice. I didn't really hear much about the, the deluxe pilsner, but both of them said the ice was really flat. So you know what? Let's actually. Does it look noticeably? Should have poured them out at the same time. It didn't seem like it was any less bubbles or anything. No, it seems about the same. Bubbling up just fine. They said it tasted flat to them, so we'll see if it uh, is lacking in carbonation. Here is the uh, Lion's Head Ice at 6%. Quite a bit darker, isn't it? I can't tell. It does seem like it's a little bit darker. Mm. Not as nice and refreshing as that uh, the the pilsner here, but um, for a six percent ice beer, it's it's pretty good. These are solid beers. Um, man, I don't know that I've done a um, a style of beer like a Budweiser and a Bud Ice back to back in a video. I don't think I've done of regular beer and its ice counterpart before so that's interesting to try these two back to back yeah i don't think that's something i've done um it's definitely noticeable <laughs> that that is stronger but uh it's similar enough that i mean you you can tell they're really close but um there's there's one i prefer here and it is indeed the uh the red can the lion's head deluxe pilsner here super freaking solid all right people of pennsylvania you guys are uh you're in luck here um if you're not buying these beers why not these are super solid and um again these don't taste like the uh the macro like big breweries out here this doesn't it, it's unique enough to where i can see someone preferring this or not preferring it. i can see someone not liking this um but i think they are growing on me um, from the light to this to the ice these are super solid and at, at the price come on 749 for a 12 pack it's ridiculous let's try the uh, ice out of the can yeah I mean it's it's an ice beer um, but it's it's one of the better ones and come on it's at six percent alcohol again that's kind of strong for an ice um huh? these are i would both recommend either one of these um if you want the stronger one sure go for the the ice here but it's got a, well this is throwing me off that i have we need to fix this there we are that was bothering me sorry that's probably been bothering you all too um yeah no this is right all right yeah if you're looking for a stronger beer, the ice, uh, I, I would recommend. But if someone was asking me, hey, which one would you pick up? Even including the light, I would say the Red Box, the Deluxe Pilsner, uh, is probably the best of the three. And then the light, and then the ice and last. But, I mean, um, the ice one's not going to be as good as their, the other two. All right, it's gone on long enough. Holy crap, cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Lion's Head. I might have to order these. Uh, the, this one I can order on that um, Halftime Beverage website. And likely, if you're in the U.S., you can too. Some states they don't ship to. Uh, but they'll ship you this one if you're in one of those eligible states. And it's a pretty good price too. Um, it's it's pretty reasonable to have that beer shipped. I think it's only like 20 bucks in shipping. Or 25 they do not have the ice. I don't know why. They have all the other beers. They don't have the ice. I don't think they have any ice beers on their website, which is disappointing. Um, 
but that's that's the way to go. All right, holy crap, man, I'm rambling. All right, cheap beer for you to drink. If you've had either of these, let me know. Uh, my point there is you can order these online, most likely, depending on where you live. Uh, cheap beer for you to drink. If you see anything new, let me know. Thanks for watching.